weather's still crap. But it's been like since winter. So things have gone in different, probably the same. Same intro. Move around. But oh, what's this? It's a box. What kind of box? Well, it's plastic and it's for stuff. Like this stuff. Indeed, my collection for Airsoft has gotten bigger. And this will be a recap of everything that I own. Because I remember the last video that I did was horrible. Because you could not see me and you could not see anything. And some things are actually new. Starting off with the body. The, this vest has something new on the back. As well as something new on the inside. I have plate carrier. Sappy plates. God damn it. There goes. There, go, there I go again. Saying the wrong thing. Okay. Sappy plate. I have a sappy plate for both sides. Front and back. That basically makes it more. It gives the vest more shape. As you can see. It really does have shape. Another thing is I have a blikva. That's something I've had since the beginning. Now, also for another thing is, you have three patches for my three extended mags for M4 AEGs. Same old gloves. Mesh mask for protecting my face. Head um, ear protection. Sadly, I missed the battery cap for this, so I don't the battery. You can't use it effectively, but it still works. I can still hear. Help tactical helmet. Um, I lost the side mounts. However, I'm hopefully going to be putting a camera on this. I'm not, I'm not getting a night. I'm not going to get something that's going to attach to this. That's uh, too too. The cameras. For those are like they're cheap they're... well the one I found that I like is cheaper and although it does less it's more compact and you don't have to have worry about it getting snagged and for eye protection I used to wear these for eye protection now they're not these 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 were bad since I wore glasses they were they fit well but sadly they'd fog up now these, these are battery powered and they got adjustable lenses. So you have a lens for sunscreen and you have, for, for the sun you have this lens. And as you can see, it's got air pockets and a fan with a battery pack in the back. That will solve my fogging problem so I can see better. Gloves are still the same. However, I've noticed I got a BB stuck in one of my glove slot and one of my fingers finger fingers fit. let's just end with that and it it got nasty now for other stuff I have one speed loader the other speed loaders are in here in the side pouch along with extra BBs and three other extra mags which are mid cap not really flash mags um, very slow to load. I actually got four pistol magazines now for my ele electric pistol. And this is new to my collection. This is a rubber knife. So when ammo runs low or when I really want to do have some fun in close range combat, rubber knife. Because can't really use real knives in airsoft. And also for my flashlight. This is also something that I use every day. I just added it to the arsenal because... Well, it's military built, kind of. It's sturdy. And it also has a removable and add on multiple screens stored in the back of different colors. Luckily one of them's red. 
So when I turn it on, it doesn't show any white light. But you can see far away during night opera, night night battles. You have my binocular case. I don't have a. I do not have the effective binocular set, so I will not be wearing that. You have my shouldered pads, knee pads, added protection, better than the ones that came with my um outfit. And then you have my. I believe you pronounce this as a chronograph, which doesn't have batteries, but I have one. So if I need to test something. Test one of my guns, I, do, I can. Now for my sidearm. This is an electric pistol, 1911 model, age, or electric pistol. Basically the battery is stored in the chamber area and the magazine goes beneath here. It has a button fail safe. Very neat. And two modes. Semi-auto and then full auto. And that goes on to my leg holster. This leg, leg holster only has the holster and one magazine pouch that, carry, that can carry two of these pistol magazines, which are very thin. This is my three point, one point sling for my AEG. And this actually helps because when I need to drop my AEG, it does not go falling on the ground or off a wall or somewhere, and I can quickly grab the pistol. Now, time for the big bad boys. Here we have an M4 model, um, G and a G and G M4 model combat AEG made in Taiwan. Onto it, I have a reflex, electric reflex sight with red and green dot sighting, as well as a zoom scope that I can flip away. Um, a note about that, this AEG, out of the box, I had a 9.6 battery, volt battery go with it, and it was butterfly battery. Um, it did not work well, the battery was kind of very not a very efficient with um, the regular out of the box operation of the gun. However, I tuned it down and it works like charm, and it's very effective. And it's also steel, or al it has its alloy. It's heavy, but it's sturdy. Better than my plastic trash K and M sixteen lying somewhere around I forgot where I put it but I don't really care because I don't I never liked that rifle and then for my other secondary choice I have a shotgun come action spring close quarters um it fires three shots sadly I can't get any more um shells for it because it's where I, I shop evike Dot com sadly doesn't seem to restock or they restock and it instantly goes out but so someone please if you know anywhere I can get a double e double eagle 30 round shotgun cartridge for this airsoft twin eagle twin eagle close quarter shotgun I would happily oblige Or happily thank you. And to go with it, I have a case. Gun case, waterproof, airtight. Um, water basically, if it rains, this it will keep everything inside dry. And my good old Evike riot shield. As you can see, it tells where you get it from. And it's also see-through. It, it's sort of heavy, but with all the other gear that I have... It's, um, it's heavy. It adds some serious weight. And although, I did add, in the back, a harness. So, if I need to start moving fast, 
and I can't carry this around, I can put it over my back, and I can carry it with me, Call of Duty style. Now, for another main thing, this is also what I got. Hopefully you can see. I have a new outfit, dark horse pants, and, oh, no, I, this isn't dark horse, this is, uh, they just said it was dark camouflage, dark camouflage, shirt and pants, long sleeve, very durable fabric, um, multiple pockets, and velcro places to put, to put, um, Magazines, pouches, compasses, stuff that you need to carry. It's very useful, very durable fabric. I have yet to wash this, but it still smells new. So, that would be it for my airsoft gear. And unfortunately, I would have time to put it back, to put it all on and show you. However, it's not really the hour for me to do that and then have to undress and put it all back. Although I, I would love to, but time management. I'll put that in the next video. I'll come up with this in a full demonstration of how my gear would work. So my name is Tiggy Junkie and I'll see you in the next video.